Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jonathan Burnus. I'm so excited to have a very dear friend, Tim Ross, with us today. Tim is the pastor of Embassy City Church in Irving, Texas. He speaks nationally and internationally at large churches and conferences. He's also a friend to Israel and to the Jewish people. Tim, welcome to Jewish Voice and thank you for taking the time to join Ezra and I. And uh, I've heard you speak a number of times now at conferences I've been at. They've been so impactful, Tim. Thank you. And each time I thought, I've got to invite him on Jewish Voice because you need to be heard. You have a voice that needs to be heard in Thank the you. church. So welcome. Right. I'm honored to be here with uh, you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just jump in with a, a little of your background. You have a great testimony, and I, I loved hearing it. Yeah. Uh, you're not a Texas uh, native of Texas, I am right? Not, no. You're from California, I from am. L.A. So you were a uh, preacher at your parents' church. Yes. They knew that it was just for a season. Yeah. And you knew for, it was just for a season. And the, then the Lord called you yeah. to just pick up everything yep. and go to Texas. Yeah, so I moved to Texas in June of 1997. Um, my parents were kind enough to raise some money for us at our small church, about 50 people. Uh, they raised four hundred dollars for me. They bought me a one-way ticket, one-way Greyhound bus ticket uh, to Texas. I spent two and a half days on a bumpy bus, uh, and um, I got to Texas in '97. I met my wife Juliet in 1998. We got married in 1999, and. Um, God just continued to open doors in ministry for me. Yeah, and then it was the Potter's House. That yeah, I remember. the Potter's House with Bishop Jakes. I was there for thirteen and a half years. Um, uh, I was on staff for four. My last four years, I was there from 2006 uh, to 2010 as the um, young adult pastor and then uh, director of all student ministries. Well, there's lots of great stories we can talk about during your time at Potter's House. What a great man of God yeah. you served under. But what was so unique is that you were really, his plan was that you were to take the church. Yeah at some point and God called you out yeah. really at a time when you were thriving yeah. in ministry. Everybody knew you. It was a big platform. Yes, it was. I remember you talking about the date after you preached. Yeah. And everyone knew you everywhere yeah, you went, yeah. which wasn't a lot of fun for you. No, it was not. As an introvert. <laughs> but yeah. talk about God calling you in, really in the midst of success. Yeah, absolutely. Out of that church. Yeah, so it was, it was, an interesting thing, the first time I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me about transition was November of 2008. And um, I thought it was a transition within the organization, like maybe to another position, an executive role, maybe over a campus, something like that. And um, at that time, the Holy Spirit just said, yeah, no, this is, this is something completely different. Um, uh, we prayed all of 2009. And uh, after we prayed in 2009, uh, the Lord gave me Genesis 12, verse number one. Wow. Get thee out of your, your, your father's house, your country, to a place that I will show you. It's incredible. And um, uh, as scary as that word was for me, uh, I had peace with it. Juliet had peace with it. I actually got that word in January of 2010 while flying to Australia. That's when the Holy Spirit told me that. Wow. It's a massive word, though. Ezra, we're very familiar with that Yeah, text. we are. You know, that's really, if you will, the, the beginning of, of the Jewish people, right, is Abraham's yes to God. That's right. In Hebrew, it's lech lecha, get yourself going, not only out of your family, but out of where you, where you come from, where you belong, and out of your culture. Right. And, and that was the Lord's call to you. Yeah. Not just out of a particular church, but in a way out of your comfort zone, out of your culture. Absolutely. Talk about that a bit. So... Um, being born and raised in a classical Pentecostal um, uh, environment mm -hmm. uh, with an African-American expression, sure. uh, to say get, leave your culture 
is to leave everything you know. Of course. Right? It, it's to leave right. who you know, how you know them, how you're identified, um, uh, the colloquialisms, the idioms, the, <laughs> you, you know, the things that are picked up just uh, in gesture. Mm -hmm. um, you're told to leave it all and to go to somewhere you don't know, right. that you don't have a context to. And uh, for me, that was a transition from uh, the Potter's House in Dallas, Texas to Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas, wow. um, a predominantly Caucasian church, conservative um, in their expression. And um, I, was t I was told to go there. Uh, the Holy Spirit led me there. And so I did. Was that radical for you? It wasn't. Um, I, a lot of people think, oh, it must have been culture shock to go from an all-black church to an all-white church. And I'm like, well, 70% of the churches I preached in were white. Hmm. So, and I'm from Southern California, so I'm used to being around everybody. You know, a lot of people uh, call places like New York, Miami, uh, LA, uh, melting pots. Mm -hmm. It's the wrong description. It, it's, it's a salad, right? A melting pot, you can't discern one thing from the other. Everything's been, right. you, you know, uh, uh, boiled down to some hot liquid. Right. But in a salad, you know your tomato is a tomato, you know your radish is a radish, you know your, your romaine is a romaine, you know your sure. cucumber is a cucumber. <laughs> and in California, you're like, okay, yep, that person is Mexican and that person is Puerto Rican and that person right. is from China and that person is from Japan and that person's black, but that person's African, this person's African American, this person's Afro Caribbean. It's a salad. Hmm. Sure. So I was used to salad. When I got to Texas, it was segregation, right? They was like, we only wow. want lettuce over here. <laughs> we only want tomatoes <laughs> over here. Oh we only want cucumbers over there. So it was a very, um, I was disrupted by sure. the, um, the, 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 the Southern uh, racial issues that drew lines in the 40s and 50s that I was trying to navigate in the... That was know. a bigger culture shock than being called out of... Oh, absolutely. African-American. Yeah, moving uh, to Texas was my culture shock. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, I feel such a kinship listening to you because the transition for me growing up in a Jewish home, going to my first church service and being told we're now going to drink the blood of Christ. <laughs> and I thought, what did I sign up for? <laughs> Cannibalism? I, I couldn't relate right. to... Yeah. It was such a different culture. Yeah, absolutely. So, so for me, it, it literally was getting to uh, a place like Texas. I, I had, you know, racism is, is, in, is a spirit that's everywhere. It's a, it's a subcategory of the spirit of division. Uh, but, but, but segregation was like law, <laughs> right? Like, like that was like a real thing in America. Sure. And I just thought this is very disorienting and I, I was trying to find the community pool that everybody swam in. Mm -hmm. um, and subsequently, we, God just gave me the privilege to just build one, make one. So it was, yeah. it was wow. pretty cool. Well, I, we have to take a little break. I, I want to come back and talk about, I want you to help navigate us through what's been going on yeah. the last year because it, it's, I think it's, it's, uh, it really throws you off balance. Mm -hmm. It's thrown me off balance. I think it's thrown a lot of uh, church leaders off balance. It's thrown a lot of people that are you that are watching off balance. Uh, we have to take a short break, though, as our announcer comes to tell you about a special group of resources that we m want to sow into your life this week. I want to ask you to pray about joining us as a Shalom partner. Will you, will you consider that? Your continued monthly support will transform lives and give the opportunity to us to share the gospel. You'll be sending us literally to those who have not heard. So watch this short message and we'll be back with much more as we continue our discussion. Don't go away. Here at Jewish Voice, we are all about helping people in need. As you support us, we're able to provide help in many different ways to Jewish people and their neighbors, not only in Africa, but also in Israel, where we are providing aid to those living in very difficult conditions. As you join us today in supporting Jewish Voice with a one-time gift of $40. Jonathan has prepared an excellent group of resources for you as an encouragement to your faith and also as a way of saying thank you for your support. 
first, you'll receive the newest devotional from Jewish Voice entitled, Hope in the Midst. It's a collection of uplifting devotionals designed to lift your spirits and refocus your heart on God's hope that is always in our midst. In addition, we'll send you this beautiful set of scripture cards that will guide you in praying for the nation and people of Israel. Don't miss this opportunity to receive these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed to keep Jewish Voice outreaches touching the lives of so many hurting people. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly Shalom partner, with a gift of just $30 today. Jonathan will also send you this collection of three incredible photo books that document the work you are supporting with your consistent giving to Jewish Voice. Not only are the images stunning, but these photo books are also a great way to share with others what Jewish Voice is doing around the world through your help. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. As you are able to give a gift of $100, we will also include Tim Ross's informative and eye-opening book, Upset the World. It will show you how your walk with Yeshua can change you and upset the culture around you in a positive way. Your gift today can change a life, providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Right now, you can change the eternal destiny for 10 children in Africa. I'm talking about mostly Jewish kids in Africa. With the gift of just $750, you can send 10 kids to one of our Messianic preschools. Your gift of $750 will completely cover the cost of tuition, uniform, school supplies for 10 children for the next year. Think of this, you can invest in new generations of Jewish believers in Africa. Your gift of $750 is gonna provide a bright future for these kids in need. So please pick up the phone or log on to our website and get involved now. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan, Ezra, and their special guest, Tim Ross. Okay, Tim, I want to jump back into this. I, I, I want you to, all to watching to understand how significant that this is. You're the heir apparent at Potter's House, and this is a huge audience. This is tens of thousands of people, and God says through Genesis 12, yeah. leave it all behind. Absolutely. Leave, the, leave the, your family, yeah. your spiritual family. Yeah leave this culture, yes. but it's for a specific purpose. He's moving you out of a culture to become multicultural, right? right? Absolutely. To reach the world. Absolutely, exactly. And you, you did not know no. what the next steps were. I, I you, did not What know. was ahead. Yeah, I did you not You just know. knew the Lord was calling you to do it. That's right. That, that's a word for some of you that are watching. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, don't give up. Don't give up. God yeah. is not done. He will fulfill what he's called you to do. Yeah. So that, that's amazing. But you, it did come into, in, into clarity it did. over five years. Yeah, so in 2017, uh, I, I was in Australia again, and the Holy Spirit told me that uh, the name of the church is going to be Embassy. Uh, and about four or five months later, he told me it was going to be in Irving, Texas. It wasn't until we got ready to plant the church in 2015 that I started doing some you know, history on the city. And I found out that the zip code that we lived in uh, is in the top 10 most racially diverse zip codes in the United States of America. Wow. Mm. One year, um, uh, a couple of years prior to 2015, it was number one. Queens, New York was number two. So there was a spot in Texas <laughs> that was more racially diverse than New York wow. City. So I thought, okay, God, this is, this is what you meant. Like, you want us 
uh, to create this community pool, the pool I've been looking for since I left Southern California. Like, where is everybody at at the same time? Exactly. So um, uh, for the last five years, we've had this beautiful expression of African-Americans and Caucasians and Southeast Asians and Hispanics and, uh, uh, you, you know, people that have done their 23andMe and Ancestry.com, you sure. know, they're the 14 percent Croatian and, you know, 19 percent Romanian and, <laughs> right. you know, 40 uh, percent uh, Scottish. It's just it's just amazing. We have a, a load of inter interracial couples mm -hmm. that attend the church as well. So. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been great. That's awesome. So yeah. in the midst of this beautiful expression that you're, yep. you're really leading the charge in Irving, uh, what I see nationally, maybe you at home have seen this, is it feels like a forced polarization, right? You're mm. either with me or you're against me. Political, mm. racial mm. issues in the states in the last year or so. Yeah. And what I hear is, okay, well, the answer to polarization is reconciliation, right? Mm -hmm. The goal is racial reconciliation. Yeah. You don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, talk, um, speak to that. Uh, racial reconciliation is a pipe dream in this country. Hmm. It, it's like unachievable. Um, and it's unachievable because by definition, reconciliation means to re restore to a previous relationship. So for mm -hmm. white people and black people in America, to be reconciled would be for me to walk off this set and like serve you. Right, <laughs> like I would have to like be outside. Because that was the beginning of the relationship. The, the beginning of the relationship wow. was we need employees yeah. to pick cotton. <laughs> right, like right. we need people to build our houses and till our land. That wow. we we were we were labor. We were machinery. So mm -hmm. so that's not reconciled. I don't want to be reconciled to that. Right. So, um, uh, this is so good. I've never heard this before. Yeah. yeah so so f for me, when I'm talking to. Um, uh, uh, my, my white friends who are leading churches and want to know, man, how do we bring nations together? But specifically in America, mm -hmm. how do we address uh, the issue of, of uniting uh, black people and white people, African-Americans in particular with, with white Americans? My answer is always, we don't need ra racial reconciliation. That, that's not gonna work. The kumbayas have never worked. <laughs> Hmm. Let's just stand side by side and keep apologizing to each other and, until that we infinite. feel better. Sure. Nope. Um, it's, it's racial resolution. We have to resolve that racism and slavery was bad and evil, right? right. And, it, and it traumatized an entire people group. We also have to resolve that we never want to do that again. <laughs> right. We have to resolve that scripture is clear hmm. on what unity looks like for those that confess that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, we're gonna resolve to live according to scripture. Wow. That the biggest separation in human history uh, outside of Adam and Eve was uh, uh, Jews from the nations. Mm -hmm. And according to Ephesians, in Christ's body, he took Jews and Gentiles and made a new people group called the church. That should mean everybody else should be able to get along too. <laughs> wow. Once he did it for Jew and Gentile, that means black and white can figure it out. And it should be less time than Acts 15, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, so that's my, I know that's easier said than done, I, but, sure. D does but that, that's my. Does that fall on open ears in your church and in, in, in the circles you run? I mean, is that? Yes, it does actually, because uh, here's what I, uh, that's a great question, because what, what I feel like, uh, it's, it's done for a lot of my, my white friends, is like, there's a sigh of relief. Like, oh, thank God, so we can stop trying to do this then. <laughs> right, because it, it wasn't working. The reconciliation, the, or recon the attempted reconciliation. It wasn't working. Sure. Right, like King's speech was the best thing ever. <laughs> if it was gonna happen, it should have happened then. But it wasn't working, wow. right? So you, you, you listen to the I Have a Dream speech, hmm. it sounded like it was written for last summer's events. Right, yes. So we haven't moved that far. Right. And I, and I think the body of Christ needs to stop trying to look at a secular way to see change and unity amongst believers. When we are reconciled to God, we're reconciled to each other. Wow. And so that's, that's the that's great That's the commission. only answer. That's no, the I, only answer. I, I, th I think of Israelis and Palestinians yes. in this conflict that's mm -hmm. so so ancient, Yeah. where do you see true unity among believers? Yeah. When they That's both it. embrace the Messiah. That's right. 
there's true rec there's 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 true unity. My 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 big uh, statement to that, Jonathan, is always uh, if you're reconciled to God and I'm reconciled to God and we have the same daddy, then we have to be brothers and we have to find a way to get along. Wow. Th that's where unity comes from, is us having the same dad, not us trying to start with, sure. hey, you know, my grandfather owned some of y'all. I apologize. You got the Robinson <laughs> name from. So you, just, I believe I, I, I want to confirm something you already know. You are an ambassador. Yes. God has called you That's right. to an ambassadorship That's in the correct. kingdom. Yes, sir. How do, we, uh, how do we make a difference out there where this conflict is raging? Well, the wonderful thing about ambassadorship is that um, uh, you are a representation of someone else. So our, our church is an embassy. I believe every church is an embassy. Every, every synagogue is an embassy. Hmm. We tell people when they show up to our church, you're no longer in Irving because you're no longer in Texas because you're no longer in America. You're actually in heaven. It's a representation of heaven on earth. As ambassadors, the only thing we have to, to do as an assignment is to repeat what our king has said. <laughs> wow. Ambassadors don't get to have opinions. Right. They literally just repeat what their sovereign state or nation has uh, pronounced, and so that's what I endeavor to do. They set no policy. That's, that's correct, yes. they can't. That's, we need to, it's, it's a great message. I wish we had more time. We've gotta have you back and talk more about this, Tim. We really do. Thank we you. need to take a short break so we can share some information about the resources that we're making available to you this week. Now, I know you may be presented with a lot of different opportunities to give but I want you to understand that your support of Jewish Voice is truly making a difference in the lives of so many people, in particular Jewish people and their neighbors, in some cases that have never heard the gospel before. Uh, so if you love the Jewish people, this is an opportunity to get involved. Make sure to stay with us because when we come back, Tim Ezra and I are going to come in agreement with you in prayer for you and your family. We'll be right back. Here at Jewish Voice, we are all about helping people in need. As you support us, we're able to provide help in many different ways to Jewish people and their neighbors, not only in Africa, but also in Israel, where we are providing aid to those living in very difficult conditions. As you join us today in supporting Jewish Voice with a one-time gift of $40. Jonathan has prepared an excellent group of resources for you as an encouragement to your faith and also as a way of saying thank you for your support. First, you'll receive the newest devotional from Jewish Voice entitled Hope in the Midst. It's a collection of uplifting devotionals designed to lift your spirits and refocus your heart on God's hope that is always in our midst. In addition, We'll send you this beautiful set of scripture cards that will guide you in praying for the nation and people of Israel. Don't miss this opportunity to receive these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed to keep Jewish voice outreaches touching the lives of so many hurting people. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly Shalom partner with a gift of just $30 today, Jonathan will also send you this collection of three incredible photo books that document the work you are supporting with your consistent giving to Jewish voice. Not only are the images stunning, but these photo books are also a great way to share with others what Jewish Voice is doing around the world through your help. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. As you are able to give a gift of $100, we will also include Tim Ross's informative and eye-opening book, Upset the World. It will show you how your walk with Yeshua can change you and upset the culture around you in a positive way. Your gift today can change a life, providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Right now, you can change the eternal destiny for 10 children in Africa. 
I'm talking about mostly Jewish kids in Africa. With the gift of just $750, you can send 10 kids to one of our Messianic preschools. Your gift of $750 will completely cover the cost of tuition, uniform, school supplies for 10 children for the next year. Think of this, you can invest in new generations of Jewish believers in Africa. Your gift of $750 is gonna provide a bright future for these kids in need. So please pick up the phone or log on to our website and get involved now. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan, Ezra, and their special guest, Tim Ross. Well, we take uh, time in every program to pray for your needs, and we know there's a lot of them, people that have lost their jobs. I, I know some of you are struggling with isolation still. Uh, lots of needs. Would you pray for us? Absolutely. So, Father God, I thank you so much uh, for my brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters. I thank you for the grace that you have put upon their life, that no matter what season they find themselves in, your peace will be with them. You have never given a burden that's too heavy or a yoke that's too restrained. So I pray, Lord God, that in the season they are in right now, that you would be the God of our comfort, that you would be their peace, their hope, their joy, their provision, their power. In the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. If you'd like amen. more information about our ministry, you can log on to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv. We'll also have a link to get Tim's book. I really encourage you to get it. Upsetting the world is your call. Uh, we have a lot more information on the website that can help you be a, a, a light. Um, that Jewish person in your life is not there by accident. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we care about you, and more importantly, God cares about you. So send us your prayer requests, uh, and we will uh, pray for your needs by name. As we close the program today, I want to remind you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122.6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love thee. A special thanks again to Pastor Tim Ross for joining us today. And until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus along with Ezra Benjamin saying shalom and God bless you. Don't miss the Jewish Voice Israel Tour. You'll walk the ancient streets where Yeshua walked, savor some of Israel's most delectable foods, and experience memorable adventures. This experience will change your life and you'll never read the Bible the same again. For more information, call 800-299-9374 or go to jewishvoice.tv Israel.